I want to talk a little bit about code optimization. And uh, there's a lot of aspects of code optimization that people deal with on a regular basis. And most of the time, I think, when people say code optimization, they mean performance and memory optimization. But the truth is there's a lot of different aspects of code optimization that we can deal with. And I'm going to make a blanket statement. And I know in software development, the only valid answer is really it depends. And while it is true, I'm going to make this blanket statement anyways. And the statement is that in the absence of evidence of the need for a particular type of optimization, we should be optimizing our code for readability and understandability. And the reason I believe that is because we read our code far more often than we write and edit the code. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that like to do things like comma-first variable declarations, which frankly drives me nuts. I can't stand comma-first variable declarations. But honestly, that's, that's my opinion. You know, I also don't like ternary operators. I don't like the way they look. I don't like the way they read. There are very few instances where I use a ternary operator because I think they're hard to read, really. So what it comes down to really is not just optimizing for readability and understandability, though, but really what is readability and understandability. And the truth is that changes for every team and every project. What I consider readable is not readable to somebody else. What you consider readable is probably may not be readable to me. There are people that like comma first variable declarations. I think it's ridiculous. I don't like it at all. I think it's hard to read. I especially think ternary operators are hard to read as I've already said. But other people think that's okay. So when it comes down to optimizing your code for readability, what you really want is to be consistent more than anything else. You want to have your project look like your project through and through. You want to have anybody on your team be able to open up any file in the project you're working on and be able to look at the file and know this is how the file is laid out. This is where this type of content goes. This is where we have the using statements or the imports or the requires. This is where we have the main declaration of the body of this particular file. This is where we have any exports. This is You want to be able to see consistent flow through a project. And you want to have that consistency available across all the projects that a team is working on whenever possible. Now, I'll you know, step back from that a second by saying you should really be updating your standards on a regular basis. Make sure that you are moving your standards forward when you have new information, new team members, new ways of doing things. But overall, I think it is far more important for a team to have a consistent coding style that optimizes the code for readability and understandability within the project than anything else without evidence for the need to optimize for something else. Of course, there's going to be times when you need to optimize for memory use, when you need to optimize for performance, when you need to optimize for some other reason, but you should never optimize for those things without explicit direct evidence evidence that you need to optimize for those things. So without evidence to say that you need to optimize for a given trait of your code, you should be optimizing for the readability and understandability of your code because we read code far more often than we write and edit code.